The struggles you are in today is developing the strength you need for tomorrow. With this inspirational quote, myself Nandita Tisoza presenting you the second part of the lesson understanding MS Word that is tabs on ribbon. In our previous video, we have already seen the different components of MS Word like you have office button, quick access toolbar, tabs, title bar, groups, ribbon, horizontal and vertical ruler, working area, application window, vertical and horizontal scroll bar. Today, we will be studying the component ribbon in detail. The ribbon is a user interface element which was introduced by Microsoft in Microsoft Office 2007. It is located below the quick access toolbar and the title bar. It comprises seven tabs, home, insert, page layout, references, mailing, review, and view. Each tab has specific groups of related commands. It gives you quick access to the commonly used commands that you need to complete a task. Let's see how to minimize and maximize the ribbon. We all know this part is called as the ribbon. When you right click on the empty space, you can see this drop down menu. Under this, click on the minimize the ribbon. Once when you click on the minimize ribbon, your ribbon get minimized and is seen like this. Here, you can see the tabs are visible, but the details or the icons under this are invisible. That is because you just minimize the ribbon. Now, to get back your tab details, again, right click on the empty area. When you right click on the empty space, this drop down menu appears. Here, you will have to Again, click on the minimize the ribbon. When you click on here, this tick mark disappears and you will get the details of the tabs back. Sometimes when we open MS Word, we are not able to see these details. That means your ribbon is minimized. So you don't need to worry. You just, just click on this option and you will get back the details of the tab. Now, we will see the different tabs in a ribbon. The first tab under the ribbon is Home tab. The Home tab is the default tab in Microsoft Word. It has five groups of related commands. The first one is Clipboard, second one is Font, third one is Paragraph, fourth one is Styles and fifth one is Editing. It helps you change document settings like font size, adding bullets, adjusting styles and many other common features. It also helps you to return to the home section of the document. The next tab is the insert tab. Insert tab is the second tab in the ribbon. As the name suggests, it is used to insert or add extra features in your document. It is commonly used to add tables, pictures, clip art, shapes, page numbers, etc. The insert tab has seven groups of related commands. The first one is pages, second one is tables, third one is illustration, Fourth one is links, fifth one is header and footer, sixth one is text and seventh one is symbols. Then comes the page layout tab. It is the third tab in the ribbon. This tab allows you to control the look and feel of your document. That is, you can change the page size, margins, line spacing, indentation, documentation, orientation, etc. The page layout tab 
has five groups of related commands. The first one is teams. Second one is page setup. Third one is page background. Fourth one is paragraph. And fifth one is arrange. The next tab is references. It is the fourth tab in the ribbon. It allows you to enter document sources, citations, bibliography commands, etc. It also offers commands to create a table of contents, an index, and table of authorities. The references tab has six groups of related commands. The first one is table of contents, second one is footnotes, third one is citations and bibliography, fourth one is captions, fifth one is index and sixth one is table of authorities. The next tab is mailings. It is the fifth tab in the ribbon. It is the least often used tab of all the tabs available in the ribbon. It allows you merge emails, writing and inserting different fields, preview results and convert a file into a PDF format. The mailing tab has five groups of related commands. The first one is create, second one is start mail merge, third one is write and insert fields, Fourth one is preview results and fifth one is finish. Next comes review tab. It is the sixth tab in the ribbon. This tab offers you some important commands to modify your document. It helps you proofread your content to add or remove comments, track changes, etc. The review tab has six groups of related commands. The first one is proofing, second one is comments, third one is tracking, fourth one is changes, fifth one is compare and sixth one is protect. And the last tab is view tab. The view tab is located Next to the review tab, this tab allows you to switch between single page and two page views. It also enables you to control various layout tools like boundaries, guides, rulers. Its primary purpose is to offer you different ways to view your document. The view tab has Five groups of related commands. The first one is document views. Second one is show or hide. Third one is zoom. Fourth one is window. And fifth one is macros. Now, let's see how to type a text. Once you open a new document, you can see a blinking cursor or insertion point in the text area below the ribbon. Now, as you start typing, the words will appear on the screen in the text area. To change the location of insertion point, press spacebar, enter or tap keys. Let's see how to create a new document. A file created in Word is called a document. What does this document contain? This document consists of the information that we have typed. To create a new document, first you will have to click on the Microsoft Office button. When you click the button, it offers a list of commands to perform different tasks. Under these commands, you will have to click on the NIV. When you click on the NIV, 
a dialog box appears under this dialog box you will have to click on the blank document and then click on create when you click on create ms word document is created how about saving a document when you create a document it is important to save the document so that it can be viewed or reused later the basic steps to save a document are click on the microsoft office button a list of different commands appear then click on the save as command it displays save as dialog box once this dialog box appears click on the desired location preferably the desktop type the name of the file you want to save as and click on save i have given the name computer lessons hence my document will be saved on desktop under the name computer lessons once you have completed your work in ms word and saved the document you need to close the word to close the word again click on the microsoft office button the list of commands appears under this click on the close command your document which was open will be closed my dear students let's take a quick recap on what we study first we just glanced on the different components of ms word under these components we studied about the different tabs present on the ribbon then we studied how to minimize and maximize the ribbon then we studied about each tab present on the ribbon the first tab is the home tab and in this tab you have five groups those are clipboard font paragraph styles and editing then comes the second tab that is insert tab insert tab contains seven groups that is pages tables illustrations links header and footer text and symbols the third tab is the page layout tab page layout tab contains five groups that is themes page setup page background paragraph and arrange the fourth tab is the references references contains six groups that is tables of contents footnotes citations and bibliography captions index and table of authorities the fifth tab is the mailings mailings contains five groups first one is create then comes start mail merge then comes write and insert fails followed by preview results and finish the sixth tab is the review review contains six groups that is proofing comments tracking changes compare and protect and the last tab is the view tab view tab contains five groups that is document views show or hide zoom window and macros later we studied how to type a text how to create a new document how to save a document and how to close a document my dear students i hope you have clearly understood this lesson tabs on ribbon subscribe to my channel and kindle kids learning in my next video we will be studying some more details on ms word Thank you for watching. Stay home, stay safe. Let me wind up this video by teaching you one good habit. Greet your elders.